This is Şanlıurfa, one of the oldest city in Turkey. Good morning, this is Yan. I am in Shanli Ufa in the Kurdish part of Turkey, 50 kilometers away from the Syria border. Ufa is incredibly historical. In fact, it is one of the earliest regions where agricultural revolution takes place. So if you look at Google map, you will find that in between Ufa and Syria, there is a big green land that is Harun Plain and it is the most fertile land in Turkey. And since the city has been conquered by different empires, it has an incredible rich history. So in this video, I will take you to visit some of the most interesting places of Ufa. Before going out, I want to show you this incredible house that is 400 years old. There is a lot of story to tell of this house. It's an Armenia house with a beautiful, beautiful courtyard and a big fig tree. And this is my room. There is something very special about this window. I was told by my host that this window is used for gunshots during the wartime. And now let's go upstairs. This is the historical area of Ufa. And behind me, this a mosque that is converted from a church. On the wall of this mosque, you can still see the bullet marks left from the wall. The summer in Ufa is often very hot, but we have the basement. So this is one basement. Here we are, Ufa has very hot summer, but in this basement, the temperature is all year round 20 to 25 degrees. Look at this place. Then let's move to the last basement. Mahaba. This is my host Mohammed. And he told me that this room is designed based on Kurdish tradition. That's why you see all those city mats. And he told me that according to the Kurdish tradition, we all sit like a Buddha. Yes, that's how we sit. Okay, enough for the house tour and we're going to discover the old city. Mahaba. They are very curious to the travelers. Mahaba. Mahaba. Mahaba. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello. The Ufa region is actually quite dry, but in this lowland there is a green, lush area, and that's where we're going, the Baligligu. Wow, this water system is making me wet, but fortunately, GoPro is waterproof. How are you? Good, good. Okay. Ufa is actually one of the conservative and also religious regions in Turkey, as you can see from the way how people dress. Many of the women are still wearing hijab. This is a holy place in Islam, the Baliklikum. According to Jewish, Christian and Islam stories, uh, the Nimrod, the bad guy, he wants to burn the prophet Abraham. And then the fire turns into water, the wood turns into the fish. That's what we can see today, a fish pound. Of course, you cannot eat them, they are all holy, but you can feed them. Um, salam. Hello. Right next to the Baliklikum, it's a famous mosque of Matli Tali Mosque, which means the friend of God. And this friend refers to the prophet of Abraham, a sacred person in three religions. 
is a washing area before you enter the mosque. According to Islam tradition, you have to wash your nose, your mouth, your neck, arms, feet, and make yourself clean before you go and pray. So this is a place, the cave, where uh, the prophet Abraham was born. And it is believed that if you drink the water from this cave, it's going to be very good for you. Just like the Zamzam water from Mecca. Inside the cave there is a place where people can pray and this is a holy water. I've been to many bazaars in Turkey, but the bazaar in Ufa is one of the most traditional ones. I was here yesterday, the day before yesterday, and I can't wait to show you right now. This is the spice shop. We all know that Turkey is very famous for its different kinds of spices. So those are... I have no idea what those are and then there's turmeric it's very colorful may I ask what is uh, this? this is a brew at is pepper pepper is brew at uh, sunny is uh, turkey yes it's sunny sunny sunny is uh, pepper is uh, one whack two whack piman cyan give a uh, water water is uh, wash wash is uh, I think he wants to explain that it's a kind of a dried eggplant and you can put rice inside and let's go further those are the toy shops that's a keep up shop as I said before, this part is more religious, so you can see lots of women wearing hijab and some of them even cover their mouth with the scarf. Ah, this is how Turkish people serve the tea. Can I have a chai? Chai. Um, yes, sugar. Okay. He's asking me to have a sip. He also told me that I have to do this to mix the sugar with tea. Uh, now, average, I think Turkish people drink maybe 15 glasses of tea. ちん、ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃいな。ちゃい
What is this for? This this is a clock. The clock. Look at those clocks. Wow. wow, look, look at those plates. It's so beautiful. So in this store you can find very antique, beautifully carved metal stuff. Those are the cups with beautiful patterns. Look at this. He wants to show us how this was done. What are you doing? Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Oh, that's some good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's done. Tea. Uh, I drink a lot. I had a lot. One, two. Three. So uh, I have a look at the store. Yes. Those are the tea, Turkish tea pots. So normally they have hot water here and tea on top. And then when they drink, they always mix the tea with water. Are the Tur Turkish coffee? Coffee? Yes, Turkish coffee. Sugar for sugar. Help me, old couple. Help me. Teşekkür yeah. ederim. This is an iron shop. In the bazaar often you can see a courtyard like this where people can have a tea and some food. 
I just went past by a bread shop. I want to show you how, what are the breakfasts that people in Ufa eat. So this is how you eat breakfast. Grilled pepper and grilled eggplant. You can see that someone is grilled the pepper and the eggplant. And other people they are making bread. Amore. Prenup yok. Evet. Bunlar patron gibi versin mi sen? Evet. Evet. Verdim. Ah, told me I was asking him if people bring their wrong eggplant and pepper to grill, and he said yes. Jam yay. Check video. Video. So that's the end of this wonderful bazaar in Ufa. The next, I'm going to. Okay, Valley Attack is the archaeological site of Neolithic era. It's more than 10,000 years ago. And to get there, I was told that I have to take bus number 63 in front of the archaeological museum. And I have to say, once the bus is outside the city, the landscape gets really, really stunning. I really have to show this. This is the earliest human settlement in the history, about 11,000 years ago. And by then, there was no agriculture, and archaeologists believed that this site was built by nomadic hunter-gatherers. You can even see the animal relief on the big stones. That's another part that is still under excavation. Archaeological sites always take so long. And now I have 10 minutes. I really have to go back to catch the bus. Oh, sites I cannot show you all of them but this one I really want to show you that is the Ufa castle this castle was built in antiquity time and it's the symbol of Ufa city uh, I'm going there so that you can have a good view of the Ufa city and then I'm going to meet some of the friends that I met yesterday uh, they are the policeman who is taking care of the castle during the time and they were asking for some Chinese currency as a souvenir. I don't know if they are, I hope they are on duty today. Mahaba. So this is my friend Ismail. <laughs> yeah. Um this is the bank note. Thank you. Maybe to check you. This uh chairman Mao. Leader in leader, old leader. Bu ethnic groups like Turkish Kraliçe. Yes. Kraliçe Kraliçe. Mm. This is a uh, 5 cent. Hayır. This is um 20 lira. Kurtun yo izet. İzet kalır. Kayıt yapıyor mu? Kayıt yapıyor mu hala? Ha yapıyor mu şöyle? 
Unfortunately, the castle is still under renovation, so I cannot get in. But here you can see this beautiful view. That's the Balik Lagoon, and this is the mosque, and that's the old city park. such a long history and interesting culture I'm not able to show you everything in just one episode but I highly recommend that you come to this place I hope you had fun watching this video uh, thanks for watching and see you next time